Did you ever wonder why you can't move or delete the first column in an Airtable base? It's not a mistake. This is actually a super important part of how Airtable bases are created. So that first column is called the primary field and it's kind of like the title of each row. Since Airtable is a database, it treats each row as a little package that goes together. Because you can view data in so many different formats in Airtable, it's really important to have that title to kind of bring with you throughout the process. If you create a gallery view, it's the first thing that you see at the top. Or if you link to another table and you're in that table trying to link to records, then you can see that title right there. I know this is the thing that I want to link to. That brings us to the next really important thing about the primary field, which is that it must be unique. So in this case, I have a list of names and I'm assuming that no one is going to have the same first and last name. If they did, I might actually use a different primary field here. Maybe I would use like an ID for each of my contacts. This, this list of contacts is a list of sales contacts. And I also have another table that shows each time I bill one of my contacts. In this table where I show all of the billing records, I have a more complicated primary field because I'm not just uh, billing one person once. Each person I bill multiple times and so I need to include a date so I know that I build this person on this day and then I can use that as my unique signifier when I want to use this in other places. Pro tip, I will actually leave the primary field blank when I first create a table and I might not create it for quite a while before I kind of get the sense of what's the important information that I want to track in this table. In my billing table here, uh, like I said, I want to track the contact and the date. And so I'm going to show you how to do that with a dynamic formula. So when I open up the formula, you can see that I have used concatenate to paste three different values together. The first is the contact name, which is called contacts. The second one is a space between two parentheses. And the third is the date, which I have formatted in a specific way. It's important to use this date time format function when you include a date in the primary field because otherwise you'll get kind of a long, boring string of numbers. That's like the, the kind of Airtable date, you know, how Airtable understands a date. And there's actually one more way to concatenate in Airtable and it's just by using the ampersand sign. So let's recreate this formula. I'm gonna write contacts and then use an ampersand and then I will use the date time format function, add the date, and then specify that it's gonna be month, day, year, and then add a space, and that's it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment on what video you'd like to see next.